Brooke and Summer here of the Girls in Glasses. And today we feel like doing something a little different than we've done. We're gonna have a little heart to heart or a glasses to glasses. Glasses to glasses. We wanna talk about comparing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's the quote? Comparison is the thief of joy. It's true. We've all seen it floating around the Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've all pinned it. And yet, we're probably still doing it, most of us. We still find ourselves comparing it comparing ourselves what we have, what our family's like, to what we see in new media. Whether it's on Instagram or on Pinterest or on blogs or magazines. in your neighborhood or in your friendship circle. Friendship circle. On your family even. And sometimes that's I feel like even more uh, damaging because it's it's affecting relationships, not just your own um, image, which is also terrible. Yes. You don't want to do that. You know, it's funny, like I thought, like I, I used to have a time where I really compared myself. I remember there was this other singer songwriter that I used to compare myself to all the time. And I would get super bummed out because she was just, we were kind of similar, but I always just thought she was the better version of me. I always used to think that. And, and that was a stupid thing to think, but like nonetheless, it's easier just to say that than to stop actually doing it. And and I thought I really had a handle on it in the last couple years, and then just in the last month, I've caught myself in the comparison trap again. And I do think that social media is kind of the culprit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I see other girls kind of in our field doing what they're doing, and it seems like I just think, how are they getting all this done? And I I look at all the cool projects they're doing, and. And I know they have kids, and I think, how are they doing that? And they're responding to all the comments that people give them, and I, I can barely stay afloat that way. But recently, I've been feeling really bummed out about my inability to keep up, and I realize it's because I'm, I am comparing what other people's lives appear to be to my and my personal struggles right now, and and I realize that I have to go back to that. It just takes incredible self-control to stop. Like, how can we stop doing it? Right. Like, what are our tip? Why? How can we help ourselves stop this stupid crap? <laughs> well, I think one thing that helps me is to think of the big picture because yes. there's always people who have less than you, always who aren't able to do as much as you, and there's people who can do more than you and who have That's more than true. you, and to have that perspective perception of perspective rather of um, being grateful for what you do have yes I grateful think gratitude is helps a huge me one. a lot with not comparing and also it's not like you have the whole story you might see an Instagram and think oh my gosh just yesterday they did something else and huh, how are they doing that but my Instagram feed is not always Time exact. You got a lot of later grams, huh? Yeah, you got later grams. Sometimes I'm taking three days where I'm just yeah. chilling with my family, but I might post a few things. Yeah. So you can't compare. You you just you you're, you're only getting a story. snapshot. And I always know that. It's like I know that, but still yeah. there's that like there's a part of us that just gets sucked in, and I feel like we have to really control our thoughts. The other thing is, I've always noticed is I'm usually happy with what I have until and or like sometimes the body. That can become like an issue, you know, for me, and, and I'll get in, and I'll start feeling insecure, and it's only because I've seen something else to compare myself to. Right. So I feel like if you, if need be, if you need to pull back from this world of being inundated with perfect images, take a break. Like if you know if it takes if if we're not feeling better by you know, if we're not able to control our thought process or really see things with the big picture like you said and we just need to kind of pull back, I think it's okay to take a break. I think it's okay to take a break from Instagram and from Pinterest and from blogs. Uh, I think if we need to do that, it's totally healthy and we're not going to miss out. We're not. Definitely. No. You know, there's so much happening in the real life. No one's going to have on their gravestone, oh, I wish I just would have looked at Instagram a few more times. <laughs> I wish I would have done a few more Dang. likes. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. No. And and I think knowing yourself too, how much you can handle, how much you shouldn't. Right. Um, yeah. I, I think the one thing that comparison can do is help you be better. That's sometimes. true. Take like, it in a good way. Yeah. Like I think if you can twist it so, uh, but, but it's that thin line of like not letting it get 
take over your whole body and feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm less than because I'm of that. Never, I'm never but be enough. To be inspired by someone. Yes, which also I do feel mm -hmm. from social media yeah. and from other people in my life that are so awesome and I wish I could be as awesome. You know? And there's other things too that like I think you the good point was the big picture is that and there's another quote that's like don't compare your beginning to someone's middle or end or something or right, yeah. the other thing goes with strengths and weaknesses yeah. like one thing summer is a work machine she can work until like three o'clock in the morning she is so productive and has children and is great with emailing and communication it is not my strongest suit and and sometimes i used to feel like oh i will never be able to be a good like work Co whatever partner in crime at this because I can't keep up with Summer. But then there was other areas that maybe I could contribute, yeah, and that we both take our turns doing different things. And so you have to recognize that other people's strengths. Yeah, it's it's great to be like to look at their strengths and to admire them. Yeah, and, and be inspired. But also that doesn't mean anything bad about yourself. Like right. you're gonna have strengths that maybe that other person doesn't have. And I think surrounding yourself with people that like your strengths and encourage, and encourage your strengths yes. and don't fear your strengths and put down your strengths is a huge part of that. Don't compare yourself to us. We're crazy. Yeah. We are crazy town. You don't even know what goes on behind the scenes at this house. <laughs> crazy. True that. True that. Yeah, don't compare yourself because you are special just the way you are. All your intricate, intricate details of your life no one else has those details. Your talents, the things that you're good at, nobody else has those talents like you do. And That's true. you have to look on those. When when you see someone else who you're like, oh, they've got great legs or whatever, you think, oh, but I've got a great something else. Collarbone. Collarbone. My collarbone is dick awesome. my collarbone. And it doesn't take no away one really from sees their, it, but <laughs> it doesn't take away from their great legs or their uh, well behaved. Kids. Children, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we all have our own strengths, and yeah. you have yours. And remember that. And when you feel that comparison creep up, maybe think of all the things that you are lucky enough to have in your life. So let's make a deal with each other. And this yeah. week, let's try really, let's try hard to to put down the comparing. Let's take take a break from that. Take a, a break for forever. And make sure that if you catch yourself comparing yourself or um, doing something that's not productive in your life, just stop it. That's it. It sounds super easy. I know, it's kind of like you want to punch someone in the face and then make it that easy, but I think it might be. Yeah. You just make a decision to stop. And whatever you got to do to enforce that decision, yeah, whether, do it. Yeah. See you guys next Wednesday. We love you. Don't compare. Yeah.